Welcome to Combat Training Heroes. I'm your instructor, JP from the Northern Lights over Arkham. Here we search for player card combos to help thwart the villain's evil plans. Today I will talk about the justice aspect upgrade, Spycraft, so let's get started. Spycraft was released in the Black Widow Hero Pack. Spycraft is an upgrade and costs one resource to play. It has the preparation and skill traits. It reads, play only if you control a spy character. Interrupt, when you reveal an encounter card, discard Spycraft, cancel the effects of that card and discard it. Then reveal another card from the encounter deck. Spycraft can be used as a physical resource. So why should you play Spycraft? I have heard the argument many times that Spycraft isn't good because even if you cancel the encounter card, you still have to draw a new one to replace it. I argue that the cancellation of a specific encounter card like for example Advance can save you the game in some situations. When playing true solo for example, you might lose the game to a badly timed advance pull. With Spycraft you at least have a chance to try and get a better encounter card for your situation that won't lose you the game. Keep in mind that unlike some interrupts, Spycraft cancels the whole card, not just the revelation effect. So for example if you cancel Underfire, you also cancel the search keyword from that card. I think the most annoying card in the game is Shadows of the Past. Cancelling that just feels so good as you don't have to deal with your Nemesis minion, Nemesis side scheme or the other Nemesis cards that get shuffled into the encounter deck. There is no limit on how many spycrafts you can have in play, so if the next encounter card you draw might lose you the game, you can just trigger the next spycraft to cancel that and draw another encounter card. Let's look at the set of cards that combo with spycraft. As spycraft has the restriction that you need a spy character in play to be able to even play spycraft, let's look at some spies available first. Let's start with the spy heroes. Spider Woman is the our most recent spy hero. She also has the spy trait on her alter ego side, Jessica Drew, so you are able to play spycraft even if she is in alter ego. Black Widow has also the spy trait on both hero and alter ego sides. This is expected as spycraft was released in her hero pack. Black Widow's hero ability also triggers when you use Spycraft, so multiple Spycrafts a turn will result in quite a lot of extra damage. When you are playing either of these heroes, you can just play Spycraft and don't have to worry about the spy trait that much. However, if you are playing any other hero at the moment, you need to have an ally in play that has the spy trait in order to play Spycraft. Agent Coulson is possibly the best comboing ally to be played with Spycraft. Agent Coulson has the spy trait and also can search your deck or discard pile for Spycraft, as it is a preparation traded card. Maybe one of the most played spies that can be in any deck is the basic version of Mockingbird. She is a staple ally that has a powerful ability to stun an enemy when she comes into play. In addition, she has the spy trait, so you can play spycraft after you get her onto the table. Note that the version of Mockingbird that comes in Hawkeye's signature set doesn't have the spy trait. I will quickly mention that Captain Marvel's signature ally also has the spy trait. So you can play Spycraft when you play Spider-Woman ally onto the table. For me, Spycraft has saved many tight situations where an ill-timed encounter card would have lost me the match. I will link a recent playthrough with Black Widow Justice against Expert Taskmaster, 
where Spycraft actually saved me the game at one point, so you can check out how the card functions. I hope you found some useful tips to use in your decks while battling the villains in Marvel Champions the card game. Leave a comment below what you thought about this time's combos. Thanks for watching and until next time.